The latest Windows 11 update is killing your SSD. The KB5063878 has been reportedly been killing your SSD. So this person from Japan has posted this article on X, formerly Twitter. So it's reported that after he updated to the KB5063878, which is related to a storage issue that's been happening where drives disappear from the OS, which is not good. Also, data has become uh, unreadable in some cases. Access to the buffered uh, tree is possible, but the files cannot be read. He reported and said that it occurs during heavy write operations to specific types of storage. He suspected the issue was related to the operation of the drive cache. He said it's a high likelihood of the file corruption when systems occur. Rebooting temporary recovers the lost state, but the issue reoccurs with similar uh, write operations. He said in his test, it showed that symptoms appear on SSDs with over 60% usage after approximately 50 gigabytes of continuous writing to that drive. It's reported that indicated similar uh, symptoms on hard drives as well. So it's not just SSDs, it's hard drives as well. He went on to say that in his test, he suggested that the files on NAND controllers are relatively prone to this issue. Now, Jay's Two Cents YouTube channel, he did a test on this problem. He has plenty of these drives. I've only just come back from a holiday, so I haven't had much time to test this myself. But basically, he tested it and he said that the drive disappeared from the BIOS. It also had issues when playing games. Uh, it was crashing and things like that. So you can check his uh, video out. I'll leave a link for that in the video description as well. Now, the person has backed this up with some information as well on his X channel. I'll leave a link for that in the video description. Also, NeoWin has described scenarios where it attempts to copy large files over 50 gigabytes onto drives nearing capacity. And this triggered crashing. And this also raised alarms as potential widespread uh, vulnerabilities in consumer and enterprise storage solutions. So we have to be super careful if this is a real issue and it becomes widespread because at the moment, uh, Faison and also Microsoft have claimed that they can't replicate these issues themselves. So the Japanese person uploaded all of this information and it appears that the tester also tested 21 in total across a series of steps and he come to the conclusion there was quite a few problems. And this was related to either that update or the Fison controller. And NeoWin have also broken this down into more easier readable language, as you can see here. It basically says that the NG level 2 equals drive inaccessible, unrecoverable. And there was also a level 1 where the drive is inaccessible, recoverable by rebooting so there's got to be some truth to this issue because obviously there has been some evidence posted online now whether this is a widespread problem we'll have to wait and see but at the end of the day Fison is used in a hell of a lot of uh, drives and you can see here they're all over the place different manufacturers use that controller and they're in NVMe drives they're in SSDs they're in hard drives the Fison controller has been around for a very long time. Let me just quickly show you their list of drives that they support here. It's PCIe 3.0, 4.0, 5.0, SATA 3, and a bunch of other drives that are supported with this Fison controller as well. The list goes on. So if this is a problem that affects all of these, it's going to be quite a widespread issue. At the moment, I've not seen that much online it's only been a few social media outlets like jay's two cents neo win tom's hardware and a bunch of other sites that are also pushing this information and of course i'm now doing the same and i think it does need further investigation because obviously we can't just say that it's microsoft's fault and we can't just say it's Fison's fault they're both claiming uh, that they have found no connection between the August 2025 Windows security update and Fison are going on to say there's no connection uh, with their NAND controller, especially with the DRAM-less models. So with both Fison and Microsoft basically saying that they cannot reproduce this issue, uh, what do we do? Well, I would say 
that you should uninstall that Windows update just in case to make sure that it is nothing to do with the update and it's not going to damage your drive if you have a Fison controller, just to make sure. Now, Fison have made a post about the official Windows 11 security update impact on these drives. And of course, there is some social media posts where people have said that their drives have died after installing this update. So these are, of course, accusations. And of course, I'm not into accusing anyone at all on this channel. What we need is proof and testing. And of course, there has been a lot of testing done already, but it's going to need further testing, especially when Fison say that they have tested it. And also Microsoft are now asking customers for feedback to report SSD failures if it's happening. And of course, this is the big issue right here. There are literally millions of SSDs in circulation with the Fison controller inside them. And these can cause major problems, especially for data loss and things like that if the drive dies. Someone's going to have to be held accountable for this, whether it'll be Microsoft or Fison. Someone has to be held accountable at some point if this becomes a widespread problem. Now, the concerning part is when Fison recommends that users with heavy storage workloads install heat sinks on their SSD if they haven't already done so to reduce the chances of thermal throttling or issues with that drive. My recommendation would be to uninstall uh, the update file from your system. That is the KB506-3878. Uh, and I would also look for a heat sink uh, which you can purchase on Amazon for your drive if it doesn't have one and your motherboard is a budget board that doesn't have some sort of form of heat sink on it, is to go and purchase one of those with a thermal pad, put it on, and it should keep that running a little bit cooler and stop it from uh, throttling and reduce a lot of temperature issues that, that uh, might be happening with that drive. Now, of course, as the speed of these drives get faster and faster, the temperatures will climb. And of course, I've had a lot of SSDs in the past that have had controller failure. So again, like I said, this is on a Windows 10 system because that's what my system is right now. But you can view the update history of your system, whether you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11. This is a Windows 10 machine, but you can do this on Windows 11 and look for the KB5063878. Look for that file in your list and then click on it and then click on uninstall to uninstall that file from your computer. I would then pause updates for a while, just for a few weeks until we find out whether it's related to this update. You're gonna be completely safe, your PC is not gonna be in danger. It's just to make sure that if you have a Fison controller on your drive and Windows Update has been installed, that it is not Windows Update is causing this issue. Because if it is that Windows Update that is causing the issue, then uninstalling it and pausing the windows updates temporarily until we find out more details about this if it's a fires on controller then obviously you're going to have to uh, keep an eye on that keep checks on the temperatures make sure that you're not pushing it too hard and hopefully we'll get a resolution to this issue but anyway but that said i think that's going to be about it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk check out the description in the video there'll be all the information down there and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.